I enjoy IHOP. I'll have a cup of coffee. You will have pancakes and you'll like it. Breakfast is an IHOP specialty, but things aren't always as they seem at the famous Pancake House. Here are 10 secrets IHOP doesn't want you to know. What secret? Tell me the secret. You can order steak tartare. Steak? <laughs> did you say steak? IHOP may be known for its pancakes, waffles, and crepes, but did you know that the iconic breakfast chain has a secret menu? Unlike the famous In-N-Out secret menu, the IHOP secret menu is actually quite gourmet. Even Gordon Ramsay would be impressed with some of IHOP's secret menu items. You can order high-end offerings like the Patagonian Prawn Saviche, Roquefort and Pear Souffle, or spinach and asparagus risotto. Famous risotto. For dessert, you can indulge in some decadent red velvet white chocolate macaroons. Why go to a three-star Michelin restaurant when you can go to IHOP instead? The strangest item on the IHOP secret menu is undoubtedly the steak tartare. Yep, that's right. To order this bizarre dish, simply ask for the Philly cheesesteak prepared tartare style. More than just pancake batter. It's more than that. If you're following the keto diet, you better stay away from IHOP. Even the seemingly keto-friendly omelets are off-limits. That's right, there is a secret ingredient in those IHOP omelets that the company doesn't want you to know about. IHOP actually uses its world-famous buttermilk and wheat pancake batter in its omelets. But why? Well, for starters, the pancake batter makes the omelets fluffier. They're also more filling. I'm so full, yeah, so full. Same here. That means that IHOP doesn't have to use as many eggs to make a hearty omelet. The fact that IHOP uses pancake batter in its omelets is public knowledge, but IHOP doesn't shout it from the mountaintops. IHOP hides this fact on its website amongst a plethora of other disclaimers. If you head over to IHOP's website and do some Batman-style detective work, you'll find that IHOP proclaims its omelets are made with just a splash of pancake batter. Very sneaky. IHOP uses special equipment. Got some. You're probably wondering why IHOP pancakes look nothing like the ones you make at home. IHOP pancakes are perfectly round with a golden hue, but homemade pancakes, well, they often look like they were made by a five-year-old, even when they weren't. No, IHOP isn't using some secret robot designed by Elon Musk to make perfect pancakes. Instead, it all comes down to a few special pieces of equipment. Cooks at IHOP use a handy-dandy batter dispenser, so all the pancakes are the same size. It's an ingenious little device that's actually fairly easy to use. Just pour the batter in the open end, pull the lever down a few times, and voila! Now you have perfect IHOP pancakes. Perfection. And if you want to make perfect IHOP-style pancakes at home, don't fret. Batter dispensers don't cost that much. Amazon sells them for about 20 bucks. Those IHOP pancakes wouldn't exist without a griddle, either. The griddles at IHOP aren't the cheap grills you find on sale at Walmart, but they aren't multi-million dollar pieces of machinery, either. You can buy an IHOP-style griddle from a restaurant wholesaler for a few hundred smackaroos, but learning to use it properly is a whole other story. For starters, the griddle needs to be set at 350 degrees exactly. Any higher, and your pancakes will come out burnt. IHOP doesn't use any butter or fat to cook their pancakes either. Maybe just a bit of Crisco to keep them from sticking to the griddle. The syrup is totally fake. Yeah, it's all fake. The syrup at IHOP is actually faker than the fight scenes in a Steven Seagal movie. The recipe includes water, sugar, corn syrup, and a hefty helping of preservatives and artificial flavors. You're probably feeling pretty disappointed right about now, but don't feel too bad. There's still a sliver of hope. There's one place in America where the syrup at IHOP is the real deal. We're talking about Vermont, of course. Could you imagine if IHOP had the gall to use corn syrup in the maple syrup country? Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders would definitely have something to say about it. There are a few reasons why IHOP uses real maple syrup in Vermont. For starters, it's the law. I am breaking the law here. You can't call it maple syrup in Vermont unless it's the real deal. Sort of like how Japan has rules about Kobe beef and France has rules about champagne. You can't use the term Kobe 
Kobe beef unless the beef is actually from Kobe, and champagne isn't actually champagne unless it's from the Champagne region in France. In Vermont, you can get in a lot of trouble for calling corn syrup maple syrup. Even calling it maple flavored syrup is forbidden, so don't even try it. The other reason IHOP uses real maple syrup in Vermont is because it's good business. Sam Handy Jr., franchise owner of the Vermont IHOP, even petitioned IHOP corporate to use real maple syrup in Vermont. Customers pay more, but a few extra cents are worth it for a superior tasting syrup. Many menu items are high in calories. Yeah, watch me, watch me how I get fat. The truth is, IHOP's menu is one of the unhealthiest when it comes to fast casual dining. Take the Mega Monster Cheeseburger, for example. This massive burger clocks in at 1,140 calories. That's 590 more calories than a Big Mac, 610 more calories than a Quarter Pounder with cheese, and 475 more calories than a Whopper. Even Wendy's famous Dave's Triple has 50 less calories. Keep in mind that a Dave's Triple has three patties, while the Mega Monster just has two. IHOP's burger has less beef and it still has more calories. It's probably the Big Mac type IHOP sauce that's the culprit. If you order your Mega Monster cheeseburger without sauce, you can shave off 70 calories. We eat healthy. Ugh. The Mega Monster cheeseburger is a truly frightening abomination. You're better off just asking IHOP for all the bacon and eggs they have. Surprisingly, the Mega Monster Burger isn't even the worst thing on the IHOP menu. That honor goes to the heart attack inducing Big Farmhouse Break Feast. It contains enough food to satisfy more than just one person. The Big Farmhouse Break Feast comes in at a staggering 1,940 calories and contains buttermilk pancakes, four sausages, two pieces of ham, two eggs done any way, a side of hash browns, and two pieces of bacon. If you order an additional side of chocolate chip pancakes, you're looking at another 760 calories. The pancakes are high in sodium. Sweet Jesus, his sodium levels through the roof. It's no surprise that the pancakes at IHOP are loaded with sugar, but you probably didn't know that they're loaded with salt, too. IHOP definitely doesn't want you to know that the sodium levels in their pancakes are through the roof. According to the FDA, a healthy person should consume less than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. If you're a regular IHOP customer, then you're probably going well over those limits on a regular basis. Obviously, the bacon and sausages are loaded with sodium, but it's the pancakes that are packed with hidden salt. Don't tell nobody about this. Remember that scene in The Simpsons when Homer's heart gave out? That could be you if you don't cut down on the IHOP. An order of IHOP's famous original buttermilk pancakes contains just over 2,200 milligrams of sodium. Just one order of those irresistible buttermilk pancakes and you're almost at your sodium limit for the day. That's more than twice the amount of sodium found in a Big Mac, and you thought you were being healthy by eating at IHOP. Guess again. The only surefire way to avoid sodium is to stick with healthy vegetables like kale, cabbage, and broccoli. They used to recycle the syrup. God, that's gross! If you're squeamish, you should block your ears and cover your eyes because what we're about to tell you is absolutely disgusting. IHOP used to recycle its syrup. No, IHOP never scraped unused syrup off of people's plates. The truth isn't quite that repulsive. So what exactly is recycled syrup? Well, back in 2019, IHOP had syrup caddies with different flavors of syrup. You could find the cute containers on every table, but the truth is the syrup wasn't always fresh. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. At the end of the day, waiters would collect the unused syrup and put it in a syrup warmer. The reheated syrup would then be put back on the table the next day. Thankfully, IHOP now uses single serve containers of syrup. Sure, it's worse for the environment, but it's a lot more hygienic. Some customers actually miss the old fashioned syrup caddies, but thankfully, they've likely gone the way of the dodo. The chances that they make a comeback are slim to none, which is probably a good thing. 
All you can eat pancakes are for a limited time. We're running out of time. How great would it be to eat as many pancakes as you wanted for just a few bucks? Unfortunately, IHOP's all you can eat pancake deal is a rare occurrence. IHOP serves up unlimited pancakes only for a limited time. The deal usually runs from the middle of January to mid March, but foodies across America would love to see IHOP offer the deal year round. Unfortunately, that just isn't going to happen. That would be too detrimental to IHOP's bottom line. So, how does the unlimited pancake deal work? Well, for $5.99, you get a full stack of buttermilk pancakes. That's a good start. Then, you can order two more pancakes at a time for no extra charge. You can keep asking for more pancakes until you're full. One Reddit user claims they once saw a customer order 26 additional pancakes. That's a whole lot of flapjacks. Here's another thing IHOP probably doesn't want you to know. The deal only applies to buttermilk pancakes, and it's not valid with the kids' menu or the seniors' menu. That's bad news for Gramps. Now, if only IHOP offered an unlimited waffles deal. Kids can't eat for free at all IHOPs. Oh, but it's not for kids. Did you know that kids can eat for free at some IHOP locations? It sounds great, but unfortunately, the deal doesn't apply to all IHOP locations. The Kids Eat Free deal is available from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. at certain IHOP locations across the U.S. It applies to kids 12 and under as long as a parent or guardian purchases an adult entree. Here's where things get dicey. According to the Crazy Coupon Lady website, the deal is only available at about half of the IHOP locations in America. That's pretty rare. That's a real bummer. IHOP should probably think about making the deal corporate policy. If they did, parents would be more willing to choose IHOP pancakes over a Happy Meal. Make sure you call your local IHOP to see if the deal is available in your area. You wouldn't want to head over to IHOP only to find out your kid can't get free pancakes. Kids can also eat for free at IHOP locations in the Great White North, but just like in the States, the deal doesn't apply to all locations. Canucks should call ahead too, just to make sure. Better safe than sorry, eh? They lost to Denny's in a taste test. What were we coming to? We're losers. IHOP and Denny's are mortal enemies, much like Peter Griffin and Ernie the Giant Chicken. IHOP really doesn't want this secret getting out, but the sad truth is they lost a taste test to Denny's. That's right, Denny's came out on top in this breakfast food battle. Spoon University conducted an incredibly detailed and thorough taste test between Denny's and IHOP, and the results were quite surprising, to say the least. Many foodies expected IHOP to win, but alas, they were bested by Denny's. That's like Pepsi beating Coke. Don't let the Pepsi challenge fool you. Most consumers prefer Coke. Diet Coke, please. Spoon University graded the pancakes at both Denny's and IHOP on taste, chewiness, and fluffiness, syrup quality, color, and pizzazz. When the points were tallied, Denny's won by two points. IHOP probably wants a recount, but the results are in, and Denny's is the undisputed champ. Consumer Reports also held a pancake showdown, and once again, IHOP wasn't named the breakfast of champions. Instead, Cracker Barrel and Perkins shared the number one spot. It seems like IHOP just can't catch a break. Get a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click. And hey, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.